Here lies the beginning, where we laughed, we fell, and we made friends. No one here told us that in a blink of an eye, we'd be out of high school and into a future that is full of uncertainty. But no one knew. We weren't prepared for this, but then again, leaving high school leaves us with more questions than simply when will we be able to leave our houses again. Here lies the beginning, or what I thought was the beginning of the end. Right here is a place that I split my head open, leading to three future head injuries that damaged my math memory significantly. It was my dream since the sixth grade to stand here and to speak to all of you today, and October of 2015 was my worst nightmare. Being in tears over how to graph a linear function, and my only task at school being to walk the halls during gym class and sort foam shapes, left me to lose hope of ever chasing this dream and finding my footing. With five specialists and my sunglasses, I recovered with almost half of my advanced algebra tests left to finish that would grant me this additional credit to have this title that I have today. With abundant migraines and tears, I finished them all right before the end of the school year and I was able to regain the knowledge that I had previous to my heads. I had always had the love to learn, but now I had found the love for working hard, and that's what got me here today. Don't get me wrong, it's not what I expected, but I'm here. I followed you all across the street and into the place we'd spend over 5,400 hours together. And just like elementary school, we'd laugh, we'd fall, and we'd form friendships. Nothing much has changed, yet so has everything. I mean, every day is still a marathon to get to the lunch line, and rocking on school chairs are still a fad, but at least no more class pets are getting killed. Somewhere between using the word balls too much and a class meeting with our principal during the second week of school gave us a bad rap pretty early. We were labeled the loud, spunky, crazy class that could make anyone laugh, but was impossible to teach. Without a doubt, we caused many gray hairs on the heads of our teachers and probably made them question why the heck they decided to pursue a teaching career. But we were underestimated so early that no one thought we'd have a fighting chance to mature. We're probably still the only grade to be given assigned boy-girl seating at lunch in middle school, but we are definitely the only grade that isn't given the chance to walk the stage and who feels this way on their big day. You're given the right to be upset, to ask why, to feel as though you had one of the biggest days of your life ripped from you, but you do not have the right to give up. What's going on now is not an excuse to feel sorry for yourself forever, merely a mark in your story, just like that slab of concrete under a slide is one for me. These marks teach us something about ourselves or the world around us, and maybe everything in between. They show us how strong we can be, how life isn't always easy, but also how we need to pick ourselves up and carry on. They make us better, better people, better warriors, better prepared. And sometimes in the most unexpected way, they're what we need the most. Think about how much time you were able to spend with the people you've lived with for 18 years and may never live with again, or how many times you were able to sleep for 10 or 12 hours, when in a few months you may have to pull a week of all-nighters and how many games, crafts, recipes, or whatever other hobbies you've been able to accomplish and spend your free time on now that you finally have some, which will be bombarded with more work sooner than you know it. This mark was one of the worst for a lot of us, I'm sure, and it may not be worth it, but it's meant to teach us a lesson about who we are. And coming from the staff at Wrightstown, who have guided us on this journey with tests, presentations, papers, projects, notes, worksheets, and labs, who we are can't be summed up in only one word. When I asked them to try, I didn't receive the same answer more than twice. Although I was expecting loud, spunky, and crazy, I didn't receive anything close to those, but instead, so many answers I would have never seen coming. On the surface, we may be those adjectives, but we are so much more than that assumption. We are persistent. We are spirited. We are lively. We are polite. We are unique. We are supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Thanks, swabs. We are determined. We are a whirlwind. We are fearless. We are tight. We are altruistic. We are gemutlichkeit. I bet you can guess who. We are resilient. We are endearing. We are jilted. We are fun. We are leaders. We are the class of 2020. 
If in four years we can be known as all of this, the mark we can make on the world to come is endless. We had teachers warning each other of the loud, spunky, crazy group of kids heading their way, but we evolved into an unforgettable class for more reasons than one. We are living proof that it's never too late to become who you wish to be. We began as underdogs and became the class with the largest number of Ricetown National Honor Society graduates ever recorded, state wrestling champions, round four football competitors, and the year of the first ever state girls golf, first ever double placements at state for dance, state finals for girls basketball, and sectionals for boys. And to our very talented spring competitors, we never know how your season would have ended or how many more titles we could have added to that list. But you have won a fight larger than any championship, and your hard work will not be forgotten and will only be used to inspire future generations. COVID-19 can take away our time together, our ceremony, our final walkthrough, our grad party, but it cannot take away our chance of success, our character, and the accomplishments we've earned. Who knew playing rock, paper, scissors, sitting on each other's knees, and pulling a rope through our shirt could be the last time we see many of the people we grew up with. So class of 2020, I ask one favor of us in our very bright futures. Show up, work hard, and carry on the reputation that we've built for ourselves and brought to our tiny village and the entire nation and world. We were handed this mark for a reason, and not only will this one be recorded in our yearbook, but it will also be told in textbooks for decades to come. Best wishes, Wrightstown class of 2020. But remember, there is no elevator to success. You'll have to take the stairs. Yes, this is the end of our time together and our high school careers, but it's only the beginning. The beginning of our future, our success, and our legacy. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you have the time of your life. Here lies the true beginning.